Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. How is everyone doing? This setup got me feeling like, yes. I was already excited to film this video, but this setup is like... Also, today's video was brought to you guys by Naturally Serious. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. Today, we are going to be filming a Get Ready With Me. We are going to be doing a full face, a full face of... Glossier. I'm very aware that it's pronounced Glossier. It just wasn't clicking with me in this video. So for all the Glossier stands, please don't attack me. Makeup products. You guys have probably heard this curl. You guys have probably heard of Glossier before, but basically they're like a makeup and skincare line. All of their products are just known to be lightweight to kind of just enhance the features you already have instead of trying to completely cover it up or make you look completely different. I've never used Glossier in my life. I've never ordered anything from their website. And I ordered a lot of really good products that I'm excited to try. And I basically ordered enough to where I can pretty much do a full face using Glossier makeup. So we have like the primer, the foundation, they don't really call it foundation. It's just like a skin tint. You guys got to give me this one exception I'm going to actually fill in my eyebrows whenever it's time to get ready whenever it's time to get cute I love doing my brow. I love a sharp clean brow and I'm finally like getting the hang of it So we got to do that in this video I ordered the boy brow from glossier that can go over my pomade But the boy brow ain't gonna cut it. So we have those products there I also literally co-washed my hair for this video like I just finished drying it I literally took a shower and pretty much washed my hair for this video because my hair was once again in a very slick bun my hair was frizzy there was no definition and there was no way we were gonna get any cute hairstyle out of my hair's condition about an hour ago so now we just have some clean curls to work with i'm going to also be doing my hair i decided i'm gonna show you guys how to do my sleek high bun i did also get a lot of requests to show you guys how i do my slick low bun but i'll do that in another video i didn't want to do it in this video today because i just washed my hair if i were to do a slick low bun to be honest there's nothing i could do with my hair after that unless i get in the shower and wash it again so we're just gonna do a high bun today but i got you like we got time i got this hair for some time so we'll definitely get some more tutorials in but that's what i'm gonna be sharing with you guys today i completely dried my hair with the diffuser there's still like a little bit of dampness in the back but i'm going to spray down my hair and pull it up anyway that's fine so the first thing i like to do to get ready is prep my skin we're going to be doing makeup we want to start with a clean hydrated slate so that is where naturally serious got you guys covered these are the products that they sent me y'all i'm so into these products first of all the packaging they feel such a good quality they're pretty heavy these products come with some weight and they automatically just give you the impression that they're gonna be doing something right for your skin. I love how these products are natural, hence the name. These products give you the chance to get clear, glowy, hydrated, healthy skin with no harmful ingredients. So super excited to use these today. I've been using all of these products. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hop in the bathroom. I'm not gonna take you guys with me because I'm just washing my face in there and that's not really the point. So I'm just gonna go wash my face and kind of just prep my face for this face mask I'm gonna put on my skin. We're just gonna detox before the makeup, okay? So I'm gonna go hop in the bathroom real quick and I'll talk to you guys once I get back. All right, I'm back. I washed my face. I went in my sister's room to find this face mask applicator because the last time she asked to use it, she didn't give it back. So I'm just going to put my hair in a pineapple to apply this face mask. If you guys haven't watched my updated curly hair routine, you guys gotta watch it. That's what I did today and the curls came out so nice. Okay, so this face mask, I'm using Naturally Serious Fruit Talks Resurfacing Facial Remedy. I love this face mask, guys. I've used this in a recent video. You guys have seen me use it and I am in love with this face mask I feel like it genuinely detoxes my skin this is what the product looks like it's the coolest color it's this orange color and the reason it's orange is because it has turmeric in it which is great for your skin so this face mask provides real exfoliating benefit with an intense detoxifying effect to give you vibrant and healthy skin red clay has an intense detoxifying effect that draws out dirt oil and any other impurities in your skin this product also has volcanic pumice in it. That's what is exfoliating your skin in this mask, which is so crazy to me. Another thing I love about this face mask is that you can seriously use it as like a face wash as well. So if you're looking for similar effects in a shorter amount of time, maybe you're on the go,
go but you want to give your skin a little treat before you go you can use this as a face wash so yeah you only need to leave this face mask on for one to two minutes which is insane to me because I'm usually leaving on masks for over 15 minutes so I'm gonna let this sit on my face for like another minute because it's already been about two minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off all right guys so I'm back from the bathroom I completely wiped the face mask off of my skin my skin feels refreshed my skin feels renewed my skin feels soft it feels clean and it doesn't even feel dried out like so now to moisturize my face and prep it for the rest of my makeup i'm going to be applying to my face i'm using naturally serious illumination anti-fatigue serum if you're tired of dull tired looking skin this is the serum for you first of all it's like a baby pink you can't really see but it's literally baby pink this is powered by natural ingredients once again to give you a more glassy radiant and youthful appearance in less than 24 hours i mean i'm a child still but we ain't playing no games it starts now the Persian silk tree and Mediterranean lavender in this serum help reduce the look of stress fine lines wrinkles uneven skin tone I know a lot of us deal with that and just helps improve your skin's overall texture oh and like I was stating earlier the reasoning for the serums natural blush looking color it's actually intentional it's used to illuminate and enhance your skin's radiance I'm not using this moisturizer right now because honestly the serum is enough moisture for me but in the evening I love using the naturally serious natural peptide sleeping cream this is a extremely moisturizing face cream slash moisturizer if you guys are interested in any of naturally serious's products this is not even it they have so many products i definitely recommend you guys should check them out so if you guys are interested i will have the information in the links in my description box so definitely make sure to check naturally serious out so the next thing we're going to be doing to get ready is my hair doing my hair is a whole workout in itself and i'm not really looking forward to it as much as the makeup up and the skincare honestly this pineapple is doing it for me i would totally go out like this on a regular day but i did want to kind of add in like a little hair tutorial in today's video so i'm going to show you guys how i've been doing my high buns recently and hopefully it'll help you guys improve your high bun i know it's a pretty basic style and i do it all the time but that's kind of why i want to show you guys how i do it because it's obviously a style that i like and i think is flattering on me i just think everyone looks cute with a sleek high bun so i'm going to show you guys the products i'm going to be using to achieve this look the first thing is a spray bottle with water we have a leave-in conditioner any leave-in conditioner is seriously fine we have some eco gel we have some hair ties and we have bobby pins and then we also have some edge control and we got an edge brush i'm going to be using my cream of nature edge control today okay so we're going to start off with my spray bottle and i like to kind of lift my hair up and i'm basically just spraying down all the hair that i'm going to be brushing up into the bun this is just going to make the process so much easier i could not imagine trying to put my hair up without water so i'm just going to get my hair wet you don't need to drench it that should be good enough next i'm going to apply a leave-in this is the curls blueberry bliss leave-in use whatever leave-in conditioner you have i like applying leave-in conditioner once again kind of just where i will be brushing to just kind of soften it to make the brushing process easier if your hair is like really tangled this is the time where you may want to kind of just like separate any of those so now the last thing i like to apply before i actually start brushing my hair up is any gel really my favorite gel for pulling my hair up is the argan oil eco gel the clear eco gel and the olive oil eco gel those are the ones that i personally think have the best hold i feel like eco they have gels that have a nice hold and then they have other gels that are better for like definition they don't really have as good of a hold for example the gold eco gel like, i would never try and use that to really slick my hair down but it will give me some definition for my wash and go so you don't need to drench your hair in gel you can just kind of start off with a decent amount and if you need more you got it right here so now i'm gonna get my brush this is the titan 744 brush i got this at target it's pretty tough the brush is honestly key for like any slick style but anyways we're going to be basically brushing all my hair up this step is ideal because literally go around my whole head and kind of just brush all my hair upwards you don't even need to be holding it we're just trying to really like get the hair slick and whenever you're brushing your hair up towards the middle of your head where the bun will be don't forget to brush all the way up to like where your hair will be in the bun now that my hair is slick it's basically prepped to like really start pulling it up. This is where I'm going to grab all of my hair 
and this is where I'm also gonna stand up. I'm gonna get a little more gel. This is where like my goal is to actually get my hair up in a ponytail. So we're doing a bun, but the first thing I like to do is put my hair in a tight ponytail. Once my hair is in a tight ponytail, that's when things get easier. This is the toughest part. Our goal is to get like a tight, tight ponytail. It's basically gonna look like a pineapple if you have shorter hair like me. I'm feeling some waves in the back of my head. I mean, waves aren't my favorite when I'm doing a bun, but like waves in a bun, they're cute. If you are really struggling, you just literally can't get all the waves out of your hair. You got natural hair, sis. Like you don't have one A. You still look put together. You still look great. Don't stress yourself out too much. Okay, this may take a few tries. And if it does, that's okay. The back is what gets like the waviest for me. I like to tie the ponytail as close to the front of my head as possible. Cause I know once I actually look up, it's not gonna be as high up as I think it is. I can only really tie this around twice cause I used new ponytail holders. Now you basically have, it still looks like a pineapple, but we got everything, so, oh no. I finally got my hair pretty slick. Um, I feel some bumps, I feel some looseness, but I did only tie, my hair ties around twice. The next thing I like to do, I like to do the step because it makes my bun kind of stand taller on my head and give it a more round appearance. I actually learned this in someone's video I watched a couple of days ago on how to do a top knot. I'm gonna link her video down below because I did get this idea from her. I know multiple people do it, but she did kind of open my eyes to that. But the next step, I'm basically tying. You guys probably did a hairstyle similar to this when you were younger, but I'm basically tying like another hair tie maybe like an inch or so above the first one this is basically going to be the base my hair is already standing taller on my head so the next step get your bobby pins and you're basically just going to be wrapping this ponytail like around your base your hair's in a ponytail like this you're just going to be kind of pinning it back so you guys can't see it but this is not cutting it so I'm going to get my edge brush along with some more eco gel and just kind of go around my whole head slicking my hair up but did you guys see like how easy that was I've never seen that method until recently but it seriously makes it so much easier to do your buns I'm going to keep getting bobby pins to kind of just pin my hair up because it's kind of loose in the back keep in mind if whenever you first put your hair up in the ponytail and it's just not looking slick kind of frizzy you always have the option to just kind of gel it up afterwards it's really slim it's not as round and circular as my buns usually are but i'm kind of digging it this is my version of branching out with hairstyles so my hair is like pretty slicked up this is what we got going okay like not bad you know one very crucial step i like to do is pull out some side pieces and i'm just going to get the spray bottle just kind of spray some water on my hands run it through the hair and just kind of so this is what we got so far and then my favorite thing to do is lay the edge I don't have the cute edges like on my forehead. I could never Okay, let's do that to the other side Okay, so that is going to be my high bun slash top knot for today's look I hope my little attempt at a tutorial will help you guys out in any way so now i'm literally so excited we're going to be trying glossier makeup for the first time and i'm going to be using a majority of their products so i'm really excited so before i get into any glossier makeup i'm going to fill in my eyebrows now i'm thinking for me to clean up my eyebrows i did get a glossier concealer but i'm not sure if it's like liquid let me see because i may have to use a different concealer to clean up the brows the only product i've opened after having these products for almost a week is their perfume for my eyebrows i'm going to be using my anastasia dip brow pomade this is in the shade chocolate along with the angled brush with the spoolie basically the way i like to fill in my eyebrows i guess i zoom in for this part too this isn't really a tutorial i'm just kind of showing you guys how i get ready but i do kind of want you guys to like be able to see me filling in my eyebrows so i'm just going to get my pomade and start filling in my brows the first thing i'm working on is just defining the bottom of my brow so i'm going to continue Continue just defining the brow and really just creating the shape I want I don't do a lot of actual like drawing on because I do have a decent brow shape already but I will kind of make my brow a little bit bigger I like to extend my brow because they're a little short and I like to make the tip super sharp I accidentally like plucked the tip of this brow off so we've just been filling it in and things have been fine so yeah try not to go overboard with the pomade because it's pretty intense so as you can see it looks kind of sharpie right now and so that's when I like to brush it out to kind of tone down the boldness of the brow like it's very dark especially comparing it to this one it looks 
crazy. So this is good for me. So now let's do that to the other side. So now that my brows are filled in, I'm going to be cleaning them up. So to clean up my brows, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this flat brush. This is by Morphe. So usually there's product just sitting on the applicator. So I just kind of wipe it off. And I start at the front of my brow and I'm just creating a straight line underneath, which is going to give me the effect of a very clean cut brow i prefer using something a little lighter than my natural skin tone to just kind of highlight the brow bone and really make your brows pop this concealer is really high coverage it's really good and you don't need a lot okay so now i'm gonna clean up the top of this brow so now for the super fun part we are going in with our glossier makeup i have two mirrors i have like a makeup palette sitting on the edge of my chair because i'm sitting in a chair but i'm like sitting the opposite way the back of the chair is in front of me talk about back support there is none let me just show you guys the products that i purchased so the first product i got is i'm not gonna give a whole review on everything right now because that's like annoying but i got the perfecting skin tint this is in the shade g5 that's the shade i got for both the skin tint and the stretch concealer so yeah i also got the stretch concealer i got the bubble wrap eye plus lip plumping cream this actually sounds really scary oh i got clear lip gloss the cloud paint we got a priming moisturizer the lash slick i have lash extensions so i'll only be using this on my bottom lashes we got the halo scope do effect highlighter Ooh, i'm so excited we got the boy brow and i also got their you perfume this is the one product i already opened because i was so excited about this if you guys didn't know Glossier has one fragrance. I think it's called you and it's basically a fragrance that kind of adjusts to you and it smells different on everyone so i got the sample size because the full size i swear it was like 60 dollars. so i just got this little travel size version it's like a solid perfume this honestly it smells kind of like how i expected the way they describe it it's like impossible to really know what it smells like it's like kind of musky but i swear this smells exactly it smells so similar to in the stars by bath and body works but not as harsh so let's start off with our priming moisturizer i mean we already kind of primed our face with the skincare but this is more of like a primer that's really going to allow my makeup to stick to my face throughout the day even though it's like six o'clock it smells like absolutely nothing that makes sense because glossier is pretty lightweight none of their products really scream at you okay this is super hydrating wow okay so it's like a primer and a moisturizer at the same time which is really cool it's more watery than i expected but i love it it's super light and i feel like it's actually going to grip the makeup without making my skin feel heavy and disgusting so that's the priming moisturizer i will definitely use this it doesn't really stand out much from any other primer i've used they all kind of do the same thing but i do like how it's a moisturizer too so that kind of gives me a reason to use that primer before any other one i would use so one thing i totally just like spaced out and forgot about was brow gel so this is like kind of random and not in order but i'm going to get my glossier boy brow and i'm kind of just going to use it as a gel Look how small the applicator is. Is this the full size? It's so tiny. So whenever I usually gel my brows after filling them in, I like to make the front kind of sparse. It makes your brows look more natural. I just overall prefer the look. I did get this in the color of my brows. I'm actually curious to use this now, like without my brows filled in. So I can't give much of a review on this product because I'm not using it how people normally would but i would honestly use it as a brow gel if it has a good hold because it's tinted okay so the next thing i'm going to be going in with is glossier's perfecting skin tint i really hope this is my shade i mean online they actually do a good job of giving you examples of the different shades and they show it on different people that are using the same shade which actually really helps so this is very liquidy which makes sense because it's more of a bb cream instead of a foundation so it's lightweight and it's not as thick it's not as high coverage so i'm going to i guess put some on my finger and oh my gosh that's the perfect shade so i'm just going to it's very liquidy i'm going to put this all over my 
face oh my gosh this is the perfect shade and then before it like settles in my face and oxidizes i'm going to get my real techniques beauty sponge and blend this into my skin once i actually apply like a concealer or i don't really wear foundation anymore but if it was foundation i don't let it sit on my face for long before blending it in because it'll start to dry up and oxidize as in like get orangey and like darker than what the foundation or concealer actually is so then whenever you go and try to blend it in you can still see where you applied it which is so annoying and i realize letting your products just sit on your skin before blending them in will do that i've heard there's benefits for letting it sit on your skin before blending it in but that's just not for me so i'm not really seeing much coverage i can see a little bit but it's definitely low coverage i'm still seeing some of my redness i'd usually put concealer on yeah i can still see it but it definitely covered it to an extent that's really enough for me i don't really go crazy with the coverage in the first place but okay i like this product so i love this i could see myself using this on a daily basis i mean i won't but this is definitely more of an everyday foundation bb cream this stuff is bomb if you want just like an overall even skin tone but it's light like i really feel like I just moisturize my skin. You don't feel it on your face at all. It's not cakey. So next, I'm going to be trying the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I don't really know how this works. I guess I just stick my finger in it, or is that like dirty? My hands are clean. I'm just gonna go like this. I guess kind of warm it up in my hand. Oh. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. I'm gonna like stretch it across. I do have some dark, they're not really bags. They just have dark circles. They kind of run in the family and then I kind of don't get enough sleep. So that mixture together isn't like prime. After stretching that along my bags, my darkness, I'm going to blend that in once again. Um, it definitely helped cover up the circles. I would use this. It like lightens them up, but they're still slightly there. So it looks natural. Like I'm not completely covering everything. And like the coverage it gave me, I'm totally satisfied with. I'm gonna put a little bit of this concealer right in the middle of my brows because I have a pimple right there. This concealer is definitely higher coverage than the skin tint. I had a feeling this product would be a little more dense because it's called a stretch concealer. And for anything to give you the slightest stretching effect, it have to have some thickness to it you're not gonna stretch a watery skin tint on your face i'm so impressed so far like i have nothing negative to say oh wait i didn't get a powder i swear i ordered one but i guess i didn't and that's one thing i'm going to need to use because i mean i look really dewy right now and i actually really like it but i just want to kind of set under my eyes and my t-zone area because that's what gets oily for me so i'm going to get just my revolution banana powder so far we still have we have the eye lip plus plumping cream i'm gonna go ahead and use this i'm not putting this anywhere near my eyes like i said but i'm gonna put it on my lips and see if it gives you that tingling effect that any lip plumping product will usually do oh wait what it's more of like a moisturizer bottle but uh, it's got a whole pump is this even how you use it after cleansing and before moisturizing use ring finger to gently press into the area around eyes and onto lips. I'm just gonna let this sit, see if I feel anything. If not, I'll probably forget it's there. I'm putting on a decent amount too. How would you like, how would you plump your eyes? That doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm just gonna put the rest on my arm because I'm not putting that on my eyes. Okay, so we'll just wait. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't sting because all these products are so like gentle and lightweight. So we'll see. So while that's probably doing nothing, I'm going to, I already use that. What am I gonna do? I'm going to use my lash slit and I'm going to put this on my lower lashes. My natural lashes, they were never long. They literally were so short and they stuck straight out so it looks like I had no lashes. I'm just going to apply this to my lower lash line. I mean, I can't really give you guys the best review on this mascara either because like it's my bottom lashes. They're not gonna get that long. I usually don't even apply mascara to my bottom lashes anymore. I completely forget cause like I don't really use mascara like I used to cause you don't put mascara on lash extensions. I'm just gonna be really careful with it because I usually suck at applying mascara. It's actually doing a pretty good job I think any mascara would give me this effect. It's not like whoa It's my bottom lashes. They're not that long to begin with It's probably not the best for length and volume if you're looking for something like really bold I'm just gonna go in with two coats Okay, but wait Okay, forget about what I said with the length. This is giving me length. You need to layer this concealer concealer mascara 
layering it makes a huge difference by the way the lip plumping i don't feel any burning it's just kind of soaking into my lips and i definitely don't see a difference so i don't really know what the point of that is now i'm going to brush off this powder that's been sitting on my face the next product i have two more products the next product i'm using is their halo scope highlighter so their highlighters it's not a powder it's like a liquid not liquid but like a cream highlight kind of that is what it looks like i got mine in the shade topaz oh very natural okay i'm just gonna apply it where i normally would apply highlight and i'm just gonna rub it in with my fingers because i feel like if i use my blender it's going to completely dissipate off my face because that's how liquid or cream products usually work for me so i'm just gonna kind of tap it into my skin so it doesn't look like a streak okay so that's very natural this it's less of a highlight and it's more of a dew it makes you look dewy i'm gonna put some on my brow bone this is like a whole different type of makeup it's a completely different look and i'm so so here for it y'all see how it's like dewy wow oh wow okay so this is dew this is not highlight it's not really highlighting you just look dewy that's cute it's literally called dew effect highlighter i'm not even trying to like be an ass kisser these products are so good the last product i bought is the lip gloss and i got it wait Actually, I didn't get it in clear. I got their newer one. This is in the shade um, red. So this is more of like a red gloss and I was gonna get clear. I thought it'd be pretty much useless because it is like a pricier gloss. I thought if I was gonna spend like more than $2 on a lip gloss, might as well get something other than clear. Okay, so now let's try the gloss. It's not red red. It just gives your lips like it just enhances the color. It looks like your natural lip color, but a little more pink. Like you could tell I have something on. Glossier is worth the hype. I mean, there's definitely drugstore alternatives, but I would purchase again. I don't regret my decision buying these products at all, and I'm really glad I actually like them all because they are pricier and I wasn't trying to get played. Okay, I'm just going to set my face. Any setting spray is fine, but this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I like this one because it's like a mist. You're like, it's not a spray. All right, guys. So this is our finished look. We have the hair. We have the makeup. We did our skincare earlier to prep our skin. We did kind of a top knot. We're getting there. And like a full face, very natural makeup look. You know what I forgot? I'm still using this. I don't care. We got to use the cloud paint. How do I even forget? This is the cloud paint in Dawn. This is like a corally color. Wow, this looks like acrylic paint. Whoa, I did not need as much as I put on. Okay, wait, I look a little, look a little sickly. Something I'll remember for next time, a little goes a long way. Now I look sick. <laughs> I'm gonna apply a little more of my halo scope because I did kind of just like rub my fingers all over it and probably defeated the purpose. Okay, if you just kind of like tap your skin with it, you don't really need to rub it in. And I'm going to set my face one last time. This is like almost out actually. Okay, so now this is our finished look. I love it so much. You guys are gonna see these products in upcoming videos because Glossier is the moves. I definitely recommend you even investing in like one product because all their products are bomb. I think the most bang for your buck out of these products would be the Skin Tint, the Stretch Concealer, and the Lash Slick. These are all amazing products. And then I also love the Cloud Paint. I love the Halo Scope. I love the gloss, literally anything in this video is gonna do you right so this time we've actually come to the end of this look once again i wanted to say thank you to naturally serious for sponsoring today's video and getting my skin prepped glowy before actually applying any makeup once again all the information will be in the description box but yeah guys that is it for today's video i haven't done like a get ready with me in a while so if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so i know to do more but yeah guys that's it for today's video if you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet please make sure to do so also, if you enjoyed this video, I haven't done a get ready with me in a while. Give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video is honestly so fun to film. I love you all so much. Thank you for sitting through this video if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh.